Hey guys, welcome back. So in the previous week, a lot of things has happened in the field of AI, especially a lot of new language model came out. One notable was from Google, which is Flash 2.0, which is from the Gemini family. Now they launched a couple of uh, these 2.0 models. One is this 2.0 Flash, then we have 2.0 Pro. It is gaining a lot of good traction on the benchmark that it is showcasing. We also have 2.0 Flash Lite. Now this is important because these models are not only good, but they actually are very, very cheap, which makes it a really good option for a lot of production grade apps and even for personal use. So if you take a look at the pricing of these model, 2.0 flash model, we can see that the quality is at the middle ground of comparing of all other LLMs. The speed is really high. Gemini is already known for its speed. And finally, if we take a look at the price, we can see how cheap this is. We are sitting at at 0.2%. And if you compare it with other models, you can see O1 is sitting at 26.3. A look at quality versus price comparison. The price of O1 is so much high and the quality is also good. But in the actual use case scenario, if you take a look at this Gemini 2.0 flash, the price is so low and the quality is also really good. Not as par with O1, but still good for majority of the tasks. Similarly, if you take a look at the model Gemini 2.0 Flash, it also is good, not as good as 2.0 Flash because it's a light model, but the speed is really, really fast. It's faster than any other model that is out there. And especially the price also, it's very, very low. So if we take a look at the quality versus price graph, again, this showcases the price is so low and the quality is also good for certain tasks. So we'll take a look at how this performs when it comes to integrating this with Bold.DIY. Those who already don't know about Bold.DIY, this is a project from StackBlitz and it's an open source counterpart of another tool that StackBlitz have built, which is Bold.new. This is basically an AI coder, which you can provide any prompt and it will be able to create full stack web apps for you. Similarly, if you want to deploy it locally, we can use Bold.DIY and connect it with Gemini with its API key. So let's see how we can do that. To install it locally, what we have to do is we just have to open up a folder with terminal let me just do that. Once we have done that, we have to clone this repository. So we'll write this command. And we can see that we have cloned into this repository into our local system. Now let's go inside this repository. Once we are in this repository, we have to have one thing installed, which is pnpm package manager. And to do that, you can use this command, which is npm install dash G P N P M. Once this is done, because in my system, it has already been installed. Once this is done, we just have to copy this command, which is P N P M install and hit enter. What this will do is it will install all the dependency that is required by bold.diy. So we can see that it has been completed. Now to run the actual development server, we have to copy this command P N P M run dev and hit enter. Once we do that, it will start up the local server and we can go to the URL that it will provide. So I'll copy this URL, paste it in the browser. So we can see that we have successfully installed bold.diy into our local system. Now to actually start using it with Gemini 2.0 models, we have to connect it with Gemini API. So to do that, let me just reload. I can see that it asks me which particular model I want to connect it with. So if we keep Google aside, we have so many API or LLM providers out there, which is Anthropic, Cohere, DeepSeek, GitHub, Hugging Face, Hyperbolic, LM Studio, whichever you wants to use. But in this case, we are taking a look at Google itself. So you click on Google, then you have a list of all the models that are available from Google. And before you start using it, we have to set up our Google API key. Let's just do that. So if I click on edit button here, now one quick thing, where will you get your API key? To get your API key, you have to come on this particular platform, which is known as Google AI Studio. And the URL is aistudio.google.com. Once you are here, you just have to click on get API key. And once you have done that, you can click on this particular button, which is create API key. And then you can search for your Google Cloud projects. Now, what does this mean? This basically means that you have to have a project up and running, which is connected to some billing source on cloud.google.com. Once you have made that particular project, it will start showing up here. You can select it and then this button will appear, which is generate API key. Once you have done that, it will look something like this and you can copy this API key. You can come back to bold.diy and you can paste your API key here. Now we can see that bold.diy is connected with our Google API key. Let's see how Gemini model actually performs when it comes to creating web app 
it's really fast and it's also very cheap so it is really good model if we can use it to build some web apps so let's try with an example of creating a notepad app so i've asked it to create a notepad app and we can see how quick this is is generating all the necessary code files and writing code in it we'll wait for it to complete and we can see that it has created the full screen notepad app for us let's test it out so we can see that it's working as it is intended so this was a quick tutorial on how you can connect bold.diy with gemini 2.0 it's a really good model it's cost effective and i would highly encourage everyone to try it out because this can help you enable a lot of things that you want to build you don't have to rely on expensive tools like cursor you just install bold.diy locally on your system and connect it with gemini so that's it for this video i hope you gain some value out of it do like and subscribe and i'll see you in the next one